Knowledge is power. How many times have we heard that before? Is that really the way it is? Hello humans, welcome to the Think Share. My name is Zach, I'm here to bring to you what I've been thinking about, sharing about, listening to. Today specifically has been a podcast from the Bigger Pockets podcast. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to subscribe. The quote that was mentioned today was from Derek Siver. If information was the answer, we'd all be billionaire rock stars living with six pack abs. Now, I hope that makes sense to most of you. So if you think about it, all the time we want to get more informed, we want to get more knowledge, we want to get smarter, we go to school for things like that, and we listen to a lot of it. In reality, most of those things do not always make the difference. Hence why, if you think about it, a lot of professors, a lot of teachers out there, and yes, I guess I'm kind of calling myself out, a lot of teachers out there are, there. I'm sure are plenty of entrepreneur teachers and professors out there that have never done that themselves. I know one thing that I'm glad that, that I became a math teacher is because I was an engineer for at least two years. I had a taste of what it was and I wanted to give that back. A lot of people, that's not quite the case. I'll be honest, I've, I've felt pretty much like a bum today. I, I mean, I know it's my summer vacation, I can spend it how I want, but sat and played Candy Crush while I had two hours of infinite lives and listen to the Bigger Pockets podcast, to the Tim Ferriss show, and to Freakonomics. I know that more information is not actually gonna make a difference, but uh, I have the advantage of, I'm sort of an infopreneur, I guess you could say, as most of what I love doing here on YouTube is educating about different things that I've been listening to that I think should be taught more in public schools. I think it's it's such a great quote because if we think about it, so often instead of action, so many people are just wanna listen to or read another book or they wanna listen to another podcast, they wanna take more classes, they wanna get more information instead of doing, instead of implementing. So think about it, what are some of the things out there that you are consistently doing? I know that there is, um, there's a company that I used to take quite a few courses from and I know that a lot of people have the habit of signing up for the next course, and in fact, maybe what they should do is go implement it. Now, some people are doing a really good job implementing it while they're taking the courses, some people not so much. You wanna make sure that if you are one of those people that loves taking in new information, reading new books and stuff, I thought another great quote from the Bigger Pockets podcast this morning was, he said, you know, my favorite business book is the one I just read. So interesting how a lot of, t a lot of times we don't go back into the books that we've listened to before and consider, hey, am I implementing this? knowledge or is it just sitting there and making me a happy person and I'm becoming delusional thinking that I'm becoming a millionaire when in fact nothing's really changing in front of me. So I wanted to share that because I think that the knowledge is out there for the six pack abs. The knowledge is out there for all these things, but until implemented, it doesn't really matter. I hope this hits home for somebody that's constantly thinking that they're gaining power and financial success when in fact they're just reading more and not implementing what they've learned. I know that one of the things in finance that I'm working on is getting a multifamily home. So we are still saving, we are still living with our my in-laws and we're working on finding a place to own. Going to be, like that's something we're actively working towards. I think I'm currently trying to work on a lot of the concepts and things that I learn in other YouTube videos on how to make better videos. I'm working on making these be videos better. Trying to be a little bit more energetic, a little bit more entertaining for my audience out there and still be succinct. So call me out. What do you think it is that I'm learning about or listening to that I'm not implementing enough of? I'd love to hear it because I am constantly working on myself. If you like this, give it a like. If you want to hear more, subscribe. You can hit the red button below or hit the icon up here. Thank you for watching. Stay weird.